Good morning, I am Robbie, and I will be discussing today a product review that I originally wanted to do when I first got the product because it came with all these here various heads and it's called the Glear, or the Gleaner. It's supposed to be the ultimate fuzz removal tool. You know, here's the thing, it shows you removing fuzzes, which uh, if you're a knitter, or work with any form of acrylic or wool or even cotton yarns, you're going to get to a point where the item will start to have all sorts of fuzz balls that, you know, just show up all over the place to such an extent that it basically makes the item where it's almost, almost unusable. Well, no one say unusable. It makes it where it doesn't look as good quality as you would like it. Because, I mean, like that, there's a whole little knot of a ball just hanging out there. But anyway, this, the, glean, the gleaner is supposed to actually remove this stuff. But this is going to be a pretty quick video because the gleaner does not do what it says. In the instructions, which I'm going to rotate this around so you can see, um, just bear with me a second. The gleaner does not work with various forms of ultra-fine yarns, which, I mean, that's understandable. Ultra-fine, like lace weight yarns, and that's, you know, that's definitely understandable. But it also does not work with embroidery, deliberate textures on um, fabrics, such that like cables and stuff like that, um, or loose weaves and knits. Note, when it says knits, almost all the time it means all knits. Whether it's cable knitting, um, crochet, anything like that, you do not want to use something like this on any of that because it will basically tear it to shreds. An example of that is my towel that I made. This towel, I mean a, a sea stitch, moss stitch. Um, for those over in Europe, it's called moss stitch. Over here in the United States, it's called sea stitch. It well, had a lot of pills and and, um, what do you want to call it? Lint when I first used it. So I was thinking I could just use it to get rid of that. But instead of getting rid of it, it actually went in there. These heads are actually a form of sandpaper. I don't know if it'll zoom in. It's actually a form of sandpaper. So as you're sliding it across your knits, is actually peeling off the outer layer of the thread. And when I say peeling off, I mean literally, it is shredding the outer layer of thread. As you can see, I just did that a little bit and I got a few strands of, of lint that's just like right there. Uh, I lost it now. Anyway. Uh, the gleaner is supposed to fix those type of issues. I can show you on this here acrylic yarn thing how it was supposed to work. You were supposed to basically take it with it hooked into this. And as people on, on YouTube said, you basically take and just keep doing this here motion and you eventually start to peel off the peels. Which, let me find some definite peels on here, which is all over this here side. Sorry for hitting the camera. Now, this is destroying the fabric. Just so you know. Okay, so that there's just some of that, 
Well, this here peaked up a lot. And as you can see, a lot of pills. And that's just that little small section. <laughs> the gleaner is not designed to do knits. It was never designed to do knits. I would not suggest anyone use it on knits. There is a type of stone that you can get from your local craft store. I got mine from Joanna's and in their sewing section. And it is, sorry for hitting the camera again. It is um, a sewing stone garment care uh, naturally. It's basically a pumice stone, which is over here. It's basically a pumice stone. And as you can see, it says that it is designed to remove peeling and balls from knits and fabrics. Doesn't say which knits and which fabrics, but it does include everything ideal for sweaters, knits, cashmere, upholstery, tiles, shirts, and bedding. Which basically is everything you're going to probably knit. Or everything you're going to crochet. Or everything you're probably going to use um, embroidery, tatting, etc. Um because basically in all of those forms, you're knitting two strands of fiber together in some form or another. Well, one strand of fiber and sometimes two or more. But anyway, this here is a pumice stone. And when I say pumice stone, I mean you can rub your hand across it and it feels just like a pumice stone. And just to compare, this here is a... Um, Callus, foot callus, hand callus, pumice stone, and it's, you can knock them together and they sound just like two rocks hitting each other. This one here, however, is designed for pills. So let me find another section of this here throw that has a lot of pills. Okay, so I'm going to use this on here. This is grabbing more so than the than the glare, but it's already got a lot of pills. And it's not ripping the threads. It's not ripping the fabric. It's not tearing it to shreds. It's just grabbing whatever is on the very top surface and removing it. It's not trying to dig down into the surface to remove it. Therefore, I would recommend going by your local craft store and picking up a item such as this because in the end, in the end, it will actually save you a lot more, uh, a lot of time, headache, and other issues with your knits and help them to last longer. Yes, this here did peel, you know, a bit of that off. And it's also in how in the type of motion you do, how much you can peel off of it without you know damaging the fabric. As you can see, peeled more off. But the one good thing that the glare has, which I would suggest anybody that is interested in um, fabric arts of any kind to get is this linen brush. One way you basically peel off whatever is on your created fabrics and another way you remove that. So this here, can be used to help smooth out anything that you just anything that you just um, use that on to peel it off and as you can see it got rid of the finer stuff that that couldn't get rid of so that that is the one advantage that the glare had and the only reason I keep the glare around is because of this linen brush Otherwise, I use this here sweater stone for removing my pills. As of all my videos, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for future videos. And have a good day. Thank you.